Hello everyone and welcome to your channel Techwine. In this video, I will provide you the solution for this challenge lab. Log into the cloud console. Copy the password. Then paste it and hit enter. First of all, we have to create a bucket. So go to the cloud storage, then open the buckets. Then click on this create. For the bucket name, go back to the lab and move to the first task. And you will see this bucket name. Simply copy it. Then go back and simply paste the bucket name. At the moment I am recording this solution, there is a bug for the task 1 of this lab. And because of this bug, when we use this bucket name provided by the lab, we get the error like this. I will attach the screenshot on the screen. So if you are getting this type of error, simply end the lab and after that restart the lab. It is possible that you will again get this bug after restarting the lab. In that case also you simply have to restart the lab. And if it is not giving any type of error, simply click on this create. Click confirm. Our first task is complete. You can go back and check the progress for first task. Now copy this topic name and in the console search for pubsub. Open this. Click on create topic. Then paste the name and click on create. Ok now our second task is also completed. Go back and check your progress. Now copy this cloud function name. And go back to the cloud console. And search for cloud functions. Open this. Click on create function. You can remove this. Now paste the function name. For trigger type you have to select cloud storage. And for the bucket click on browse. Now select the bucket we created. And for the event type you have to select this one. And click on save. Now expand this option. For the maximum number of instances type 5 now click on this next for the runtime you have to select node.js 14 and for the entry point go back to the lab and copy this then simply paste it now remove everything from this index.js go back to the lab and copy the content for this file then paste it. We have to make some changes in this file. On the line number 15, we have to replace our project ID. So go back to the lab and copy your project ID. Then carefully replace it. Open this file. Again remove everything from this file. Copy this content. Then simply paste it and click on deploy. This deployment is going to take some time till then what we can do go back to the lab and copy this image URL. Then open a new tab. Paste the URL and hit enter. Save this image on your system. Now go back to your function and wait for its completion. Once it is completed, search for buckets and open this in a new tab. Open this memories bucket. Now simply upload the file that we downloaded. Once the upload completes, click on this refresh. 
click refresh and you will see these two images go back to the lab and check the progress for this task also congratulations you have successfully completed this lab now you can end it and if the video solution was helpful please consider subscribing for the next time stay safe stay healthy